not that's all different jurisdiction and way in the future. Um, and it'd be like any other unpaved road in the county, you know, as needed, it might become that way. So um, they just saved enough to get them to right. a paved road. Because of the number of lots they're showing, they really need three access points. What they're showing is two right now, the third one connecting to itself. But at some point, they're going to have to stub out to other property. Um, it's because they're over 150 lots. So that's where that trigger is going to be. What they're showing is two paved road connections to the outside world. Technically, they have a third one through unpaved Riverside Road now. It's just unpaved. Um, a lot of that will come out during the subdivision review process where we get into the actual design of what's needed. Um, one thing to consider is this property is not flat. I mean, it's at least by South Georgia standards. Um, some of the wetlands areas on the west side are still a little bit unknown. What you're seeing is a conceptual design. This is not an actual subdivision design with all the details that are there. What they're illustrating, you see some of the little traffic circles and bow outs, just showing a mixture of what could be there. I think the city engineer is gonna have some definite opinions on some of these actual road segments in terms of how to mitigate traffic speed. So there's going to be some details of the design yet to come. Um, but I think the concept is pretty clear. And these are all single family dwellings that we're looking at, right? What they're showing is R6 standard conventional design, um, lot sizes that would allow house only, not large enough for duplexes. Okay. Although the zoning would allow it, That's what I was the lots would have to be larger. The minimum is 9,000 square feet for duplex. Yeah. But you know, what they are proposing on this drawing is single family subdivision. But that's not our mission tonight. No, you're looking at a rezoning to R6. Gotcha. All right. Is there anyone here tonight who would like to speak on behalf of this request? Yeah. You'll state your name, please. Good evening, Commission. Matthew Lemon, 4560 North Suite E. I'm the engineer for the project. I represent Advanced Engineering Services. And we're in there for the project. Um, Matt still has a lot of my talking points, as always. Um, we are we are county water and sewer. Um, of course, everything falls to the river from a topography standpoint. So setting one of those stations towards the, 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 uh, the westernmost edge um, will be the plan to, to serve the water for sewer. Um, both water and sewer on the corner of the map up there where James Circle, not where the word circle is, is where the water and sewer connections will be. Um, so we'll bring water and sewer down James Circle. You said, you said count. You, you meant city. We're well, well, very interested. I, I, I messed them up. Messed them up. And I, I've said it multiple times. It is city. It'll be city service. It'll be okay. city service. I apologize. Um, we're on the edge of the county, but it, they are city services. We'll, we'll have city service, um, a, a little station on the western boundary. Um, down there in that green space and push it back up the other okay. same circle. Um, and water and sewer both come from the same spot. They both were kind of stubbed out, just below Toyota on, uh, on Jennifer Circle for that. Um, Storm water, of course, in the back. Um, we're allowed to put in that in the, the 500 year flood plain. We'll, we'll kind of do something like that uh, for the 100 year uh, stormwater management, just to reserve as much of that green space back there for, for passive recreation. Um, one thing that Matt and I talked about, I don't think we put on the plan. There, there will be a 20 foot easement. There is some land that uh, Payne County owns further west down towards the, the Wood Lickage River that does not include this project. That we will have a, a permanent 20 foot easement access easement to get back there to that to the balance of the property. So we we'll create a landlocked parcel behind that. All right, and I haven't responded to your email yet. Um, the front portion of that will need to have at least 60 feet of road frontage. But you've got more than enough yeah, room to do. That green space there, we'll, we'll just incorporate that green space. Sure. Yeah. And, and what he's getting at, Commissioner, is you see the blue area in the back of the property. Um, that's not the river. The river is further west of that. And so the current owner, who owns all the way up to the river, is wanting to keep the river floodplain, not part of this development. Um, and so it becomes its own parcel, and it cannot be landlocked. So there's got to be a means of access to a street. <coughs> the proposed street with this subdivision is the closest street to that. So for at least on paper, it will be the connection to the street for that floodplain parcel, which won't have anything built on it. And there's a multitude of ways to provide that access. It's just picking one. 
and normally I'm gonna pick on Matt. Normally when uh, when he writes in writes in a uh, lab design, very non-creative and unimaginative. I'm having a, a, a batch of workshop here, and, and that was doing an awesome development. But since it's not helping, happening, and we're already doing single family, mm -hmm. this is a, a good lab for that. But I, I'm still kind of mad about getting the batch for you. I love that whole development, but you know, that was a long time ago. So. Yes. Uh, compared to that development, man, I, I've never been that creative, that imaginative. So um, I, I'll, I'll take that one in stride. So you said county water sewers. I didn't know who was going to touch out for the matter. Mr. George said, I didn't know who was going to touch out for the matter. We're on the boundary. I apologize. Mr. George said, I didn't know who was going to touch out for the matter. No, it is, it is that would cause some discussion. No, 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 we don't want to put the camera on. We're good. All right. Any questions for Matt? All right, Matt, thank you. All right, is there anyone else here tonight who would like to speak on behalf of this request? Is there anyone who would like to speak against this request? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My name is William C. Morgan, 2181 Smith Street here in Valdosta, and we are not against the rezoning, but I would like to say in this early stage of this development uh, that we do not want this, these homes to become rental property. As soon as they become rental property, there's a depreciation, and there's more people that comes to this area, and, and not only that, the crime goes up. So we don't want it to be, become rental property. And I'd like to just add to that, we don't want it to become rental property for 20 to 25 years, just because of the reasons that I just mentioned. And I represent the community where this is going to be, this development is going to be. So, any questions? I don't think so. Okay, and I just want to get this on the ground floor. Thank you. Thank we you. appreciate you very much. Thank you. All right, is there anyone else tonight who would like to speak against this request? All right, there being none, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners for any further discussion or questions. Commissioner Willis, you have a question? You got your forehead scooped shut. Huh? Got your forehead scooped shut. I don't think that. Not that we can't. No. Uh uh. There was something for the house in the center. We still have to have the restraint at home, retaining property for rental specifically, but that has not passed. And this is one of the only issues. You find one of those folks now. He's already talking. I'm just telling you, it's not going to be him. Well, that's. I didn't think we could. That's right. the question. Yeah. I mean, that was the reason I was frowned up. Yeah. Like, I mean, this is. Turning, but they, they got sweeping. Yeah. This, the issue before us is simply just a rezoning. And as Mr. Morgan said, they're not against the rezoning. So, uh, just for transparency, Commissioner Miller will recuse himself from the vote. So, if there's no other questions or communications, I will ask for a motion. Motion to approve. Do I have a second? No, All right. I have a second by commissioner. Okay. Is there any other discussion on the motion? All right. We have a motion to approve. All those in favor of the motion to approve, please raise your right hand. All those against, and we have one abstaining. All right, thank you so much.